Okay, guys, so next up, still carrying on with Elan Systems products that they sent. Um, again, thanking them for sending these out for unboxing, demo, and review. Um, the thing that makes me almost that excited as subwoofers is LCRs. Um, I've realized how important LCRs are to have three of the same speakers um, on the front plane. So these are the speakers that they do and these are Cricks. Um, it is an Australian brand. It is the main brand from Australia. I've had the pleasure of listening to their personal Crick cinema and it's absolutely amazing. That being said, this is one of their more sort of entry LCRs. They are much bigger ones. Um, but look at the size of this. It's absolutely huge. Um, so we'll get to the unboxing of this now. So just quickly, this is the center. We have the left and the right. And then we have, this is the Crix Mega, how do we pronounce this? Crix Megaphonics Center. 10 inch two way on wall cinema speaker, 50 to 250 watts, 95 dB efficient. Horn loaded speakers. That's why the efficiency. So very much in the way of clips, but where clips has the more metallic drivers, these have, um, it is, it is, I'll post links again, but it is more of a, um, um, what do you call it? Oh, I always hit a blank when I want to remember this stuff. A silk dome, more like a silk dome, um, but I'll make sure of my facts. This is just remembering from what they told me when we were there. Oh, and price on these, they actually they're not bad. These are about forty seven nine hundred and ninety, um, so not bad. If you take that a normal LCR smaller ones, they are fifty fifty three fifty five thousand rand. This is a bit more, but look at the size. I want to check something quickly. I just want to see on the Cornwalls. Is this? Yeah, it's also still aluminium. So this should give you that dispersion that the clips does. But at a, at a, not as harsh, not that those are harsh, but that some of the clip speakers sometimes for some people can become harsh. Um, like they always say, one man's bright is another man's detailed, but it all depends. That is why this game is so, um, you know, audio is very subjective. So, you know what? I am just going to place this straight on the floor. It's just too big to, to do here. And then I'll pick it out of the box and put it on there. So, thick polystyrene packing, as you can see, all around. So we'll put this to the side. We have on top here, we have, this is quite, quite a nice little booklet, your warranty information. They give you a Crix Experience Sound sticker. You have some, if you want to place this on a cabinet or something, you have some nice um, rubber feet you can put at the bottom. So that's it. Let's put that to the side. Let's get this beast out. I'm going to take the sides out as well so I can access the speaker more easily. Okay. <laughs> This is a freaking huge LCR. Let me just get my hands in underneath it. That side. Okay. <laughs> I can't really see where's up, where's down. Oh, this is it's on its side. I need to now get the plastic off. Best way to do this, put it on the floor. Very gently. Sure. This is an absolutely huge, huge bloody LCR. Um, I want to put the polystyrene on my stands. I've never, <laughs> I've never handled an LCR 
as big as this. I must say, I love it. I, I'm just a sucker for su sucker. I'm just a sucker for a big air speaker. So there we have the Crix logo. Very minimalist black design, as you would always find in a cinema, because it's supposed to blend and disappear. Is this magnetic? No, it's pushpin. There we go. So, 10 inch driver. Right, let's look at the grill first. Nice, nice grill, MDF constructed, push pin. Put it to the side. Now we have 10 inch driver. So, the 10 inch driver sort of paper cone. That lets you already know why we have the size of this cabinet to get base. So, port it to the front. Um, we here we have see it's a salt dome, it's a salt dome tweeter, um, horn loaded wave guide. Um, very nice. So, this is the center, and it's designed different to the fronts, um, to be mounted differently. You, I suppose, you can now, I suppose, this is only mounted like this, so you need to mount it in line. So, I would say, if you are like mounting this with the left and the right behind the screen, just make sure that your tweeter is going to be in line. So we'll see now, I'm just going to put this to the side, quickly grab one of the left and right and see how that sort of lines up and put them down here so we can see the whole thing. So let me quickly grab a left or right, I'll be back. Okay guys, I grabbed the box, I'm going to leave that as is, I want to place the speaker next to it to just see in proportion how it sits. So I'm gonna do the unboxing of this from here. Again, the same. Um, let me actually put this one on top. So I can put that on top as just so you guys can see before I put it on the side. It's got the same um, paperwork and stickers again. And I see actually a five year warranty on these products. So very impressive. Um, just wanna put this here, I don't wanna mix them up. And exact same unboxing as on the other one. So we'll remove the sides to get better access. This one I see is built more as a sort of a floor stander. Let me just get my fingers in underneath the box. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually place this as a floor stander. Yeah. That box there. I've just changed the angle so you guys can get a better vantage. Yeah, they got rubber feet so you can place them as floor standers behind your screen. Or lift them up a bit depending on how high you want um, the tweeters. So let's see. Also... Okay, so there we go. Same configuration. 10 inch, single 10 inch driver, two way design. So it'll stand like this behind your screen. And that is almost what you want. That is exactly what you want. You want the tweeters in line. So if you do build a shelf for this, then Depending on the height, you'll either leave it as this on the floor, which for me is a bit low. So I would lift them a bit on like a podium at the back or wall mount because, oh no, now see these called wall mount. This can wall mount. So these can stand on a podium and these can wall mount. But I'm sure you can sort of make a bracket to make this wall mount if you want. <laughs> For me, actually, a bit of a missed opportunity from Crix, I would have done that off the bat, is where they have these inserts for the center. I would have made them on this as well, with some rubbers at the back so you can mount them to the wall. Because that is how I would have done it. And that makes it a bit difficult for me to know how I'm going to put them behind my screen now for demo. Um, 
I will make a plan. I will make a plan. Maybe in the clips room I can make a plan there. But okay, leave that to me. I'll make a plan. I'm not going to need this. I'm just going to leave it like that. So you guys can see. So that is it, guys. This is the LCRs from Cricks. So these, like I said, this is the Megaphonics Center. This is the Me Megaphonics in room left and right. Um, stay tuned for the testing of these. I'm actually going to pop these up now and listen to what they sound like in stereo. I must say, guys, is this not a pretty or a handsome array? I um, must say, they look very cool. Um, stacked out like this now. I actually can't wait. I'm not going to put them up here now and give them a listen. I'm very excited. I have heard them before. But it's always different when you're here in your own space, guys. So stay tuned. Going to be properly testing these and putting them through their paces. Okay, guys, I've had some time now with the Crix Megaphonic system that you see here and that you also saw in unboxing. What do I think of them? This is a difficult one for me. Um, and what I'll do in this demo as well is I am going to show you, well, I'm going to demo for you some stereo and some movies on them. Because that brings me to the pro and con of these. Um, and for those that are familiar with high efficiency speakers, and it's come up on Facebook a lot when I posted these, and I'm just going to address it, clips. It's got the clips look to it, and yes, it is sort of built on the same foundations. Who came first, the chicken or the egg? I do not know. But it is also done in a very different way, and that leans towards good and bad on both. So, high efficiency woofers, for those of you that are not familiar, they have a certain sound to them. Yes, they are effortless and they are quick and they are responsive, but they do not hit down low. They, they, just, they just don't. 10 inch on this looks like it should give you a lot of bass, but unfortunately it does not. These give you about the same amount of bass as your average bookshelf. Those two bookshelves will give you the same amount of bass as this 10. The pro on that is it does give you a lot more in the scale of effortless versatility, if I can put it like that. So when you are listening to a song, it's not that sort of forced mid bass. It's a very relaxed and natural mid bass. So you need a sub of these. You just need a sub. They are designed to be home cinema speakers, so to use a sub of them is actually a given. It's the way they are designed. What would I have done different? So I've sat looking at these for a while on what I would do different. Um, I would have added two 10 inches. Yes, it would have added to the price, but we have, we have the real estate on the cabinet to add two 10s. Um, and especially also on the floor stander, even if the cabinet gets made a bit bigger, um, add two 10 inch drivers just to make it look like a proper three way speaker and not a two way speaker as it currently stands. That I can still sort of look past because this is this, this company's entry speaker. So they want to come away at a price. So let's look past that one 10 inch. The center, this gets my OCD all crazy. Put this tweeter in the middle, put the driver to the side. Um, just put the tweeter in the middle because now when you position the speaker, you need to have your tweeter center. So you need to have the speaker off axis. Um, that bugs me a lot. Second gripe, on these, they have the mounts where you can hang them on the wall, but the, the front left and right, they are designed as floor standers, so you can't, they don't have any mounts at the back to mount them to the wall. I would have added those because um, this is just too low. We need to get them on some sort of riser or a stand and for to eliminate that, if you want to wall mount this, you must be able to wall mount those so you can have the tweeter, not in this height, but on that height behind the screen in the cinema. So those are my only negatives. Sound is sublime they sound very nice effortless relaxed natural 
that comes down to the tweeter so they do have the horn loaded tweeter like you do get on eclipse but it's not aluminium it's not titanium it is a silk dome tweeter so the highs are buttery smooth and natural and i really really like it so i came away with this experience um really liking these they are great i would be able to live with them behind my screen any day i really love them the price is the problem. The price really is the problem. Um, so if you go onto Crix's website, which I'll also link um, in the description, you'll see that these are their babies. They actually go huge cinema, you know, like the Clips BTS systems and bigger. So this is their way of getting their stuff into a home cinema type of vibe at a price. The problem is the price. Um, these retailed, as I said, 40, 47,000 Rand um, for a speaker. Um, well, it's it's a bit, that's the right, that's times two. Yeah, so yes, that's correct. It's, um, it's 47,000 Rand for a speaker. That's expensive. Um, if you take clips, it's 35. MK, 35. Bowen, Walken, CT, 700s. Also, 52, 53, 55, they're all in the 50s. So to go and add another 10 to 15K per speaker to get into the same performance level, um, that's, a, that's a tall ask. And I think it comes down to the size. These need to be shipped. Um, so it comes down to that additional shipping cost. So if they could just have come into a, a different price. Are they better than the others? In certain... In certain um, in certain cases so what i would say is that the highs very nice very relaxed very natural and the base is effortless so that is where they shine a bit more but then again if you go into movie watching the aluminium and the titanium tweeters sometimes do give you a bit more um, high and that in a movie sometimes comes forward as a bit more detail if we are listening to music and concerts, I would say these would take it because they are much more relaxed up top um, and still have the horn loaded effect and have the high efficiency drivers. Are they easy to drive? Yes, they drive easily. I had them on the Marantz, I had them on the Power Amp. Yes, power does make them shine, same as with clips, but they are very efficient to drive. So next, I'm going to go over into some stereo demos. No subs. Um, I did test them with the subs. Uh, I must, I'm must. i going to leave this for the video on the subs, but very nice. Um, that's the thing I'm the most impressed about, is the subwoofers um, on the speaker crafts that they sent me. Uh, but okay, let's go with some stereo, then I'll go over to some movies on the testings.
might flag this next one, but let's see. Um, it's on my, one of my demo discs. So sometimes the demo discs don't get flagged that bad. Uh, but because this is a recording artist, maybe. So let's check. I'm going to run this on two channel stereo. So you guys can get a feeling of the two channel stereo performance on these speakers. When you see the lights on high, in the pies. When you see the Okay, so as you could hear, that was two channel stereo, no subwoofers. The detail, everything is absolutely amazing. I love, I love how these sound but they do need a sub. So combined with a good sub makes all the difference. Um, if you guys are, well, well, we'll cover this again in the next video, but if you guys are gonna be doing more music, you can go for a sealed sub like that, very musical sub, or if you're gonna be doing movies, go for a nice big beast, ported or passive radiator design. Um, I'm gonna do another demo, again, full system with the subwoofer. And then you can also go back and forth and you'll hear the bass difference where the sub and we're about the sub. See what's behind Meet me in the pines Okay guys, so let's conclude this video. Oh, on that demo, the last one. See if you can hear your headphones. That is the demo I have with the most little sounds coming away with the firefly and you can pinpoint it. See with headphones if you can pinpoint where that firefly is going. Um, okay, concluding these, who are these for? If you are a huge Crix cinema enthusiast on a beer budget, these are for you. It gets you into the taste of that higher end system that they do, which I have heard, which I'll do a, a video on. Um, gives you into that taste of the higher efficiency, but on a smaller scale. Um, also, if you are prone to having um, very sensitive ears to the highs of metallic type of tweeters, also silk down in a theater configuration, again for you. And that being said, I don't know a lot of theater speakers that do use a silk dome. So that this does fill that little niche um, where you have a silk dome still being horn loaded, 
in a theater configurated speaker. Um, for me, it just comes down to the price. But again, it is, it is a niche market where this will appeal to the cinema enthusiast with, which wants a bit more relaxed highs. And also if you want to get your foot into the Crix um, hemisphere of speakers, this is perfect for a home cinema solution. These fit very nicely between a screen, left, right, center. You can do your surrounds. Um, I would recommend in a theater setup, go for the big 15 inch sub. Um, video on that coming next. Uh, but yeah, that's it in a nutshell. I can highly recommend these. Just don't expect the 10 inch driver to have bass that does not need a sub. It's just to have a high efficiency mid. Um, it doesn't give an, uh, enough bass to, to, to enjoy stereo or movies. You will need a subwoofer. So if you guys are interested in speakers like these, you can contact me. You can see who your closest dealer in your area is that does the Crix Cinema line of speakers. Um, yeah, guys, stay tuned for the subwoofer video. That will be up next. Till the next time. Cheers.